nx can be written as sine x by cos x. So let's say this is i is equal to this function here. So this can be written as integration of one over one minus our 10 is equal to sine x divided by cos x and dx. And taking LCM in the denominator, it would look like one over LCM is cos x, and then it is cos x minus sine x. This uh, is same as cos x in numerator divided by cos x minus sine x dx. Whenever you get your function in this form, your uh, next step should be to take a denominator as t and you should find a numerator where you get the derivative of denominator. Here you look, your denominator is cos x minus sine x. Cos x minus sine x is your denominator. And you know, it's a derivative of this function. Suppose you put this is equal to t. And then it's a derivative is negative sine x, negative cos x is equal to dt. Yes. So that means we would like to find, if you take negative sine common, sine x plus cos x in the numerator. So it would be good if you could find sine x plus cos x in the numerator. For that, to get that, what we are going to do is multiplying and dividing both numerator and denominator by say two. So our integral i is going to look like this, two cos x divided by cos x minus sine x. Since derivative of our denominator was cos x plus sine x, actually negative of cos x plus sine x. So what we are going to do is we are going to add and subtract sine x here. We are going to add sine x and we are going to subtract sine x. It will not make any overall difference in our, our function, but it will bring down our function into standard formula. So integration now looks like this. Two cos x plus sine x can be written as cos x plus sine x in one bracket and in other bracket we can write cos x minus sine x. Actually when you multiply this by two you divide also by two so that two you can write outside so this will remain outside. Cos x plus sine x divided by cos x minus sine x in uh, denominator here and then we will split our function cos x minus sine x dx. Now we are going to split this in two parts so this would look like this is equal to 1 by 2 time integration of cos x plus sine x by cos x minus sine x plus, okay, let's write dx also there. And half time integration of cos x minus sine x divided by cos x minus sine x and dx. Look, the second part, the numerator and denominator is same. So they will cancel each other. In the first part, if you take denominator as t, this will reduce into one by t dt form. So, okay, this is, can we write this? Our i is same as one by two i1 
plus one by two integration of one dx. All right, that means our i, our integral, our question is now like this. So we would like to find this i1 first, okay? Let's write this i1. i1 is cos x plus sin x, here it is. i1 is cos x plus sin x divided by cos x minus sin x. So i1 is equal to cos x plus sin x divided by cos x minus sin x dx. We are going to put this function cos x minus sin x as t, cos x minus sin x is equal to t. Derivative of cos x minus sin x is negative sin x minus derivative of sin x is again cos x and dx is equal to dt. This time dx is equal to dt. Taking negative sign common, we can say sin x plus cos x. That is same as this numerator, sin x plus cos x. Sin x plus cos x time dx is equal to dt or we can say cos x plus sin x, we can uh, take this minus sign to the right and uh, it look like sin x plus cos x time dx is equal to negative dt. Now, our i1 looks like this. Integration of this numerator becomes negative dt and this is t, which is same as minus of integration one by t dt. And uh, this is equal to minus log of mod t plus c. Well, we would like to retain the value of t. So it's minus log t is cos x minus sine x plus c. Now, if this is i1, we can say, well, this is c1. And finally, we would like to write our answer i, that is i was equal to half of i1, half of i1 plus half of x, one dx, it was something like this, half of one dx. And uh, now we want to write this answer as replacing the value of i1 and uh, integrating this function. Our answer would look like half, of course, negative, negative half uh, log of cos x minus sine x plus integration of one would be x and a half means x by two plus c. Since there will be some constant here when we integrate this part, and there is another constant c1, adding those two constant, we are getting c. We are not writing that because it is almost obvious now. And your answer looks like this.